Okay, I decided I'm going to model the zombie head completely separate. So, I'm going to save this and I'm going to do a reset. I already went into Photoshop and um, created my new templates. And I'm going to try this one a little bit differently. I'm going to try um, do modeling this by <clears throat> applying the template to the actual backgrounds. So let's see. If I go here, I believe it's... Is it a right click? Ah, I can't do the right clicks. View. Newport background. Show oh, viewport background here. File. We're in the front viewport, so we're gonna go I think I put it in here. Front zomp oh why is it a PSD? Not supposed to be a PSD. Maybe it's in here. Yes, front zombie head. Um, match bitmap, lock zoom pan, display in background, active viewport only. I think that's it. Okay. Now, if I come here. Use viewport background, viewport background. Uh, thank you for remembering where I was. See how well this works out for us, huh? And where exactly do I want to start here? I'm guessing I'll start with the front profile. So let's come here. So Alt W. Actually, I guess we'll start here. We'll come in. I'm gonna leave the grid on for now. I don't know, something about it is telling me try working with it on. Um, so I'm going to start with a flat plane in the viewport. I'm going to try to pick something that's going to be up front here. So let's go with something like that. We'll go 20. Start with an even size, 20 by 20, 1 by 1, and then we'll go here, editable poly, from here, let's go to Alt W, and come to the side. I'm going to move this right about to here. If I go here, I'm not going to be able to see my selected objects. Um, so I'm going to try to stay inside the middle of the ink here. I'm not going to do an exact model, but something that's at least close. So let's rotate this a little bit. Like this, because this is the brow ridge. Now, um, I'm going to go to Move. I'm going to go to Edge change my window crossing and I actually like to work with this the looping so I'm going to pick that edge Let's come in a little bit um, I have it locked into the XY so I'm going to press my X this way I could just grab the edge shift bring it out to here 
what I'm actually doing here is I want to work on the the bridge of the nose and because this is an undead creature I gave him kind of a, a rotted back nose what's happening here alright that's not what's supposed to be going on I think using that mode I grabbed the wrong kind of edge Turn off window crossing. Let's come here. Let's go delete. Pick this edge. Go back to our left view. Come here. Maybe I don't want to use that. Maybe I'll just keep this here. Shift. Uh, the bridge of the nose. Here, we'll come down to here. Come back to here. Down to the lip. I'm not completely sure. how I want to model the inside of the mouth yet but just for now I will at least box it off and I won't box off the teeth control Z escape control Z right click okay For this, I'm just trying to work out the profile a little bit. Obviously, with the geometry of this model, we're not going for realism. He has a cartoonish style to begin with, so that's kind of what we're going to stick with. And I am going to come all the way around here. I have to remember I'm doing the middle of the face. Right down the center of his face. So right here is where I'm going to start following the neck. here, do our window crossing selection, and we'll go the same way up here. Bring the far head out a little bit, around the front, oh, a nine minute warning, I should be able to finish this in about a minute to complete this tutorial here. We are going to give them that funky shaped head, I like that. Come up in here, and that's it. We'll pick it up in just a minute.